She changed. She's not the same person I knew when, when we were dating. When we were dating, I never heard my wife fart. Now, she takes dumps with the door open. <laughs> Our front door. Forties really, you know, it's the age where you really realize how, how much of a youth culture this is. You know, 40. That's really, that's the age you really have to start hiding from HR at your job. <laughs> They're looking to replace you. Like, you're ancient, you know? They're looking to replace you with like some 24-year-old millennial who thinks he can run the company right now, you know? Just arrogant. Just looking around going, first of all, why is this company in a building? What is this, you know? <laughs> I've dated outside of my race before. It didn't work out. My ex-boyfriend is Indian. Should have known it wasn't gonna work out. Cause when I met his mom, she didn't approve of me because I'm black, which is kind of racist. But he pulled me aside and he explained it to me. He said, don't worry about what she thinks, babe. Because Indian guys don't care what women think. I was like, oh, I guess I don't care. <laughs> like, nothing to worry about. Let me just kick my shoes off and get back in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm tired of New York. I've been here 11 years. This place is a dump. I'm tired of people clipping their fingernails on the train. I swear to God, if one of those flies into my chicka pot pie. <laughs> my dad raised me a bit of like an aggressive, like a, like a tomboy, like. He raised me to be a huge sports fan. Like, I'm still a huge baseball fan. And people are like, that's such a boring sport. I'm like, those are human beings throwing a ball 100 miles an hour. Are you kidding me? Like, I have a 97 Honda CRV and the thing fucking shakes at 73. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> The next time I'm late for work, I'm gonna find a Dominican. Just have him throw me there. <laughs> Trump is actually planning on unveiling in December a new jobs plan. What I propose is to take all these African-Americans that lost jobs under that failure of Barack Obama. We're gonna give them unpaid internships to rebuild our country's infrastructure. It's a beautiful and very simple plan. We'll get our infrastructure built on the cheap, okay? Save the taxpayers a lot of money. And they'll get valuable skills that they can take to their next job. To be honest, they should be grateful. And the best part of the plan, you can't forget it, is the name. So simple. Not slavery. That's the name of the plan. Okay? And the fake media back there, the lying media, they'll go, Donald Trump is trying to bring back slavery. How stupid is that? How can I be bringing back slavery when the name of the program is not slavery? It's not slavery. Have a good time, guys. <laughs>